It's been a while since we've seen Miss Twilight, hasn't it? Perhaps you should hop in for a visit to surprise people. I've got an idea. Pay the marshmallow a visit. Have some celebratory fun together. Yeah, it would be much better than failing by magic by myself. Ever had a mare with a side of butter? I don't know, I really didn't know it. I wonder how marshmallows with butter. Only one way to find out. Attention, Time Lord. My name my main tells me that Twilight is ticklish. Send you a feather via the transmit. You know what to do. I don't need your dirty feather. I have my own. Take a good long look. Why is in in the possession of a latex bodysuit? Maybe you should ask her about it next time we meet up. Oh, she's into that naughty girl. Why, hello, Doctor. I own a store on the outskirts of Ponyville. If you ever want anything to help you with your fun on mares and stallions, come and visit. Ropes and chains. Hey boy, hey boy, hey boy. <laughs> you say you aren't going to do anything for any pony? Does that include your marshmallow? If she was in danger, would you do anything? Would you do nothing? What kind yeah. of question is that? Doctor, Miss Sparkle is extremely sad. Stop looking around, literally, and comfort her immediately. What would you do if the master got his hands or hooves on Twilight? Twilight! Twilight, can you hear me? Twilight! Don't, don't leave me. Uh, hold on, please. It wasn't this bad last time. Last time? Well, last time it was just one small one. It didn't cut very deep, like she changed her mind at the last second. This time... This time, she really wanted... She's in stable condition right now. She just needs some time to rest. Oh. Twilight! Why? Why did you do it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I just <laughs> promised the master and... and I'm sorry to tell you this, Doctor, but you are right. You can trust no pony. Not even your marshal. I, I am sorry. I, I know I don't consider you. I'm, I'm it's so terrible. You have every right to be furious at me. And no, it's not your fault. The Master is a cruel, manipulative bastard. He toyed with your emotions in order to get to me. I should be the one who's sorry. I got you involved with me and put you in danger. And I almost lost you. Doctor? You're one of the best things that have happened to me. I don't ever regret that. I'm so sorry. I'd never regret being with you, Marshmallow. I'm just glad you're alive. Can you see the changes in the doctor? The doctor, you're a different color. Colors? Twilight, what are you going on about? I'm the same as I've ever always been. N never mind, doctor. I'm just, I'm just glad you're here. Twilight, there's something I don't understand. All this time, I, I thought you were happy. Why suicide? To be honest, I didn't want you to know. I didn't want to be another burden of emotions on you, but I just felt so alone for so long. And what the master said didn't help. 
I had lived most of my life without friends, aside from my brother. When I moved to Ponyville, I finally learned how magical friendship can be. I had the five best friends in the world, and they, they were all gone. They're all either dead or insane now. There's no one that... I, I had no idea. Been so selfish. I never thought to ask anything about you, and now... Stop blaming yourself. I chose not to tell you, okay? Why, I, I know how you feel. You're not alone, I promise you. I've lost a lot. Of... Not yet. Just listen here, Twilight Sparkle. I'm so very old, and I've seen so much. One thing I know for certain, there is always hope. That's who you are. You are absolutely brilliant. We're not all that different. We've both lost so much. And we do our best to keep moving forward. If you stop now, there'll be no hope left. Despite the fact that I've lost my home, my entire race, my family, and my, my friends, all of my... My dear friends, I try so hard. And yet the more I try, the more I have to fix. For the love of God, Celestial, Luna, Satan, and any other godlike form out there, kiss him, kiss, kiss his tears away. Give him a big, long, sweet kiss on the lips. Kiss him! Are you sure you'll be alright by yourself? Positive. Spike should be back in a few days. I'll have him to help me out. Thank you, Doctor. Don't. Don't ever leave me. Promise. No, I have to help her. Say, Twy, where's your brother? Shouldn't he come visit you? He must be really worried about you. Brother? Amoriba! You, Ponyville, now. Huh? Twilight, help her. <laughs> it's the best I can do. So tired. I have a quick moral question. If Twilight was being threatened by death from a monster from your universe that somehow got here, would you sacrifice yourself to save her, or would you be a coward and hide while she dies? What? I... I think I might... save her. It's, it's only natural. Losing her is far more frightening than any monsters. What if another stallion wants to take your twilight? It's her choice. She deserves better than me. Hi there, Doc. I just wanted to point out a thing you said. You said the di difference between Twilight Sparkle and Derpy is that you despise Derpy. Well, you didn't despise her from the beginning, so I don't see the reason why you think you won't start despising Twilight, too. I mean, for you to have, for you to have been with Derpy for so long... Oops. Right, for so long must I died I'm just kidding yeah, I think well, despising Twilight too I mean you've been with Derby for so long must have been meant that 
you did some kind of feeling you did have some kind of feelings for her the same kind of feelings you currently have for miss sparkle think about that the difference is twilight would never betray me you said before that you're not interested in long-term relationships and that you're not too interested in trying to make a pony happy but what about miss twilight sparkle if she were truly interested in being in a long-term relationship with you and it would make her happy what would, what would be your stance on the what would be your stance on the matter no i already put her in enough danger just knowing her i i can't imagine the risks if it got serious this is why i'm running and why i don't want to do anything or help anyone look what it did to her Take that and apply it to the whole planets. That's what I do. I destroy everything I touch. Are you sure that Twilight would be okay with you sleeping with Rainbow? I mean, I know you're not together, but she is one of her best friends, even if they're not necessarily from the same universe. Rainbow Dash is one of her friends? I, I had no idea. I just, oh, oh my god. You know what? You were right before. You're not as bad as the master. You're worse. At least he's good. At least he's good to Pink Amina, whereas you're an asshole to all the women you meet. I bet even the thing with Twilight was a joke to you, you monster. My question is if Derpy and Twilight were hanging off a cliff, you would only save one or throw yourself over the cliff saving them both. What would you do? Who would you save? Listen to Darfius, if Derpy is too retarded to use her wings when she falls, she's not worth bloody saving. Well, or I could just jump off and save them both since I can fly now, but then that tub of fat succumb to gravity seems like the more entertaining option. Hey, hey, there was no need for you to call Derpy that. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want me to be more, be more politically correct? How about mentally handicapped? Brainless, dense, moronic, dumb, imbecilic, unintelligible, thick-headed, idiotic, mindless, half-witted, one leg short of a horse. Better? How did you revert? What did you do? How did you feel? Revert? I have no idea what you're talking about. Unless you're talking about these random dizzying headaches I've been having. Bit of a nuisance, but I try to shake them off. Got any plans for revenge on the Master, Doctor? The Master? He's the one who convinced Twilight. Facing him again is a huge risk. I'll, I'll think of something later. Much later. I think you should probably move on. One day you'll find that special sun pony and then they'll be dead. Wouldn't be the first time. Um... Doctor? Are you okay? Look, of course I am. I just have a bit of a pounding headache. But it's nothing too bad. And my mood is fine. I'm feeling great, see? <laughs> Never better. See? I'm fine. Really, I am. Trust me. You don't seem quite as angry as you used to. What the hell is that supposed to mean? I told you, I'm fine. You say that you don't want to be in a relationship with any pony. You tried to root Octavia into being your dance partner, and obviously more. Not to mention you and Twilight have been acting like a couple that we admitted that you and a special sun pony. Psst, I'm not a livery. I don't need anyone. I'm fine being a... Stud, as equine terms go, I'm more free that way. You say you don't want to be in a relationship with I any mean, pony. Next page. Next. Hey, I have a theory. Oops. Hey, I have a theory. Look at yourself at the mirror and ask yourself, are you happy? Oh, come on, this is just stupid. Look, I'll show you. So handsome, how are you? Are you happy?
you really need to get a hold of yourself or your emotions are going to rip you apart. <laughs> Something's broken. Out of character. I just spilled a bunch of plot points all over you guys. The more attentive you may see it, and this wasn't something I pulled out of nowhere either. If you really look, you'll see this exact moment has been set in place months ago. With little hints and clues. Oh. Doctor, I forgot, but have you gotten rid of the opal crab thing yet? If you haven't, then you should probably be able to do that now that you've learned to fly. Had Celestia knows amounts round of hours of rough sex with Rainbow Dash and saved Twilight from impending death. I can hardly imagine a cat tentacle crab spider thing that scare you now. Here's some bravery butter just in case you're scared of it. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, get it off me! Oh. Ew, 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 ew. Oh, that's so gross! Huh. What was I doing on the floor? Crap, I missed where it ran off to. Hmm. <laughs> Something about the mirror pissed me off, and then... Doctor, what are you doing for pony prom? Oh, forget the mirror thing. I have a prom to attend. All right, I'm ready. Now, let's go. Yeah. I got some... Okay, but I don't have a dress. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? The prom is so close and I have, don't have a dress because I got my over and it's ruined and there's no, uh, I got my blood all over and it's ruined and there's no way the doctor will go with me without a dress and he's going to hook up with some other mean, Skittles guy and I don't want to let him down and I have a social life for once and a bleeping, what am I going to do? Relax, relax, just who do you think I am? Trust me, I'm the doctor. Welcome to my wardrobe. Take whatever you like. <laughs> Clearly, letting two females have anything they want in a massive three-floor wardrobe with over 20 rooms is a fantastic idea. Ooh, nifty. Hello everyone, I recently completed this sculpture and I am now auctioning it off on eBay. I'm using a friend's account to sell it, but anyways, not only do you get the sculpture, but I also include a little thank you picture sketch of the doctor plus my autograph. Go to bid. This is the funding for Bronicon. Okay. It's only three out of fours of clothes. Why are they taking so long? Bollocks, not again. Oh, come on. Scoot, <laughs> scoot. Ah! Now that you can use wings to fly, how about grabbing and carrying stuff around with them? Scoot, scoot. Sweet Celestia, have mercy. Good God, you have no idea how long that itch has been bothering me. 